Hello, hello, and welcome to House Flipper. Well, welcome back, because we've been playing it for a few episodes now. Oh, my mouse seems very sensitive today. Okay, we are going to be continuing with our mapper jobs after we had a brief break the other day to sort out the um, our friend, the old yacht. <laughs> Get rid of it if you haven't seen that, then go check it out. Okay, today... And this is the only job we've got on here at the minute. We're going to be doing Chasing the Dreams. Rima and Jake bumped into each other at an amateur rally. They laughed it off and parted in peace. Oddly enough, they met again a few days later at a dog show. Their Australian shepherds may have had their paws in that one. It quickly became obvious that they shared the same dream. They moved to Cozy Village to tune cars, participate in rallies and run freely with their dogs. Let's see what we've got now. Oh. This is nice, nice little L-shaped house. Well, I wouldn't say little, it actually looks quite big. Triple garage as well, which, you know, if they like their car rallies, they're going to need the space. Okay, let's see what we have. We've gotten bored with the monotony of our lives. Computers, papers, meetings, deadlines. There's more to life than that. Mm. The smell of burned tires, adrenaline, speed, the atmosphere of rallies, proving that we are the best. That's why we quit our jobs. The other reason is our dogs. We love working with them. We've got plenty of room for more than the couple we own. Why not have a handsome pack of Australian Shepherds here? With them, it will be like a small paradise. Chasing their dreams. They're definitely chasing their dreams. Quit work and everything. Where are you, Plugly? I saw you appear in that little um, video then, right at the start. Look at you just bouncing around. You're ready to get on with work. Let's um, give you a little pet. You know, because look at that little squished face. Oh, he's so cute. And we'll give you a treat. We'll just keep working on the, those little tummy wrinkles. Okay, so we don't appear to have anything in the garden. So there's no weeds that are showing up here. We'll check in the back afterwards. And let's start with checking out these garages. I am going to have to, first off, and turn down the mouse sensitivity. I've been playing a variety of different games recently. And no, it's not controller and gameplay. No control in general maybe they don't have it in this one mm. we shall we shall just continue <laughs> we'll just see how it goes and i'll just be very very careful with the moving around of the mouse oh hello car okay so they did show this garage in the intro video but it appears there is nothing in here so let's go in this way we're coming in plug late come on on this way good boy okay so i'm presuming well, that won't be the front door it's more like a back door that's the garage that we came through is that the front door? It is. I know. It's like a little terrace. Corridor going down the stairs. Ooh. I know. Three here. There we go. Okay, so that's the front door. So you'd come in here. Got this very, very long L-shaped corridor. We need to do stuff in here. Look at the mess they've made on this table. So remove trash first of all. Need to go. And all them bottles. They must have been celebrating. And we're going to be selling a lot of stuff in here too. So we know we've got the kitchen. When I was opening doors down here, we did get a brief glimpse into this room, which again has um, some stuff that needs disposing of in it. Selling lots of objects again. So we've got this room to do as well. It's this room. And we've got stuff to do in here. 
Um, let's have a look in general on the job. So first floor, office, large kitchen, bedroom. Okay, so it's only those three that we need to do. So what we may as well do, because there's a lot of selling to do, is get to the selling. Okay. And then with the selling, once we've emptied out the rooms, we can then look at, obviously, oh, mind you, I'll put the windows and the door in here first. So they want a door and they want windows. I'm going to do them all in white, I think. I think the door goes this end. Yeah, this this mouse is very, very sensitive today. Lovely window. Nope, not close enough. Noise. It's such a weird noise when you knock out the windows and it's so loud compared to everything else. The echoes. Okay, we've got a skill point there. Skill point. Um, faster demolition, 10% more muscle strength or big professional hammer. We want a big professional hammer. We want to look professional, don't we? Okay, so everything's sold in there. It needs to be sold. Let's get to selling in here. You want to keep the clock? That is not a problem. They definitely don't want to be working anymore either. Just got rid of your headphones. It's no gaming either. No, 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 no. Oh, oh mind you, they were, they were big things of books. Okay, so this one's ready for decor. It's, where's the kitchen again? Ah, through here. Okay, so table and chairs we're keeping. Uh, keeping the coffee machine, okay. What about these? No, nope, they're going. Red bin, no, nope, keeping that. Keeping the kettle. It's, it looks like it's just some utensils and things. Nope, get rid of the pans. So let's pop these, we're keeping the table, we may as well pop these on the table so they're at least out the way. Uh, yeah, that's everything. So, floor we're changing out, let's do that. Oh, no, let's strip over here. Okay, and then we've got some painting and we've got some white tiles. But I'll put the kitchen in here before I actually do the decor. And I want to go and check out the basement. Ooh. Oh, so this is where they've got all their trophies and everything. A cheeky little pool down here. What's in here? Bathroom and a sauna. Oh, you got two entrances to the sauna. Okay. Nice. I like it. I like it. Very, very different. What do you reckon, Plugly? He's not first. Let's, let's turn the lights on there. I love the fact that they've incorporated these dogs as well. Friends ones. From um, Joey and Chandler's apartment. Okay. What do we need to do decor-wise in here? Lay some floor tiles. Uh, add a curtain and then it's just furniture. Oh, so there's no decorating in this one. That's actually quite nice. I get that very often. Oh, that one first. Okay then. Ah, oh, I've just realised we've not got the music on the go. Let's sort something out in the background. Lovely, goes with the back wall. Okay, again, floor tiles. Okay, 
enclosed. So we've got this dog enclosure. A few other bits and pieces. What I will probably do is see if we can It's a shame you can't get longer than that. Kind of make a little enclosure in here. So that the dogs are kind of safely in here. still kind of venture through. It's probably a little bit more than the 22 they were asking for, but then I can pop a door at this end and a door at this end. Okay. What do we need? We might extend it out a little bit. It depends on how much stuff we need for in here. But still, I'm going to pop out there. somewhere for them to sit and what else have we got? I've got the rug. I'm just going to put that there as they come through the door. And then a little wash tub for little dogs. I'm not sure their Australian shepherds are going to fit in that. It's not once they get bigger. Maybe they're planning on getting some puppies. I'm going to put that there out of the way. Um, do we have a sleeping mat? I'm going to leave these in the basic colours. Do we want two of them? Yes. They're quite big. Ah, get in there. Thank you. <laughs> um, two pee pads. They're also quite big. Okay, so we might need to expand this out a touch. Let's just pop our pee pads here for the minute. Actually, no. Can I move that out a touch? Oh no, you're just going to be awkward, aren't you? It's fine, I don't mind selling it again. thinking because for me like if you're going to use it to kind of keep the pups in there then I'd still want to be able to walk through you know and oh, that was that one never mind <laughs> Just, just not playing, are you? Tasks. I should give me the door back. Play now. Let's pop that there. Okay, that should give us enough room to get these pee pads in here now. Kind of. Yeah, that'll do. Hey Plugly, you'll have to wait out there a minute. Um, two food bowls and two drinks bowls. I've got green on those mats, so let's just put the green through for that. Um, I feel like I need to put one here. Water bowls. Again, we'll go green. the other one in a second I am just in fact let me just pop that one there a second just wondering if I can fit that in there like come on and then 
move that one up a touch. And get the other bowl in there. And then... Toys and a radiator plumbing system. Not a problem. My bouncy ball, little tennis ball, chew toy. Looks more like one of the antlers than a, a little stick. But it's been making me chuckle because obviously those things weigh a ton. And you can just imagine if a dog was playing fetch with one of the antlers. It's just like serious damage to the teeth. Let's get this radiator plumbing system in. So I think it is definitely supposed to be more of a... Actually, no, we can go with the white in there. I think it's supposed to be more of a kind of like little branch than anything else. Okay, so this room's done. We're done in here, plugs. I'll leave that open in case you want a little nibble of food. So, might shut that door. T oh, well, that didn't work, did it? It's fine. I'm just running out there a second while I figure out where the furniture's gonna go in here. Some big bits to move about. They like putting a lot of furniture in these rooms recently. I am not sure what this playlist is. So I may pretty well change it because right now that sounds like I don't know. A very windy day, let's say. Let's... Uh, where's our country playlist? We're enjoying that. It's a little bit more fun. I was trying something different. I probably shouldn't have done. Move this over this way a bit because... There's some big furniture pieces and dog beds to go in here, so I want to kind of give a little bit of room to be able to fit them all in. Put you in the corner. No. Be that corner. This in the course dark oak wood, so let's move this over here for the minute. The table lamps. Snow blue. Um, let's see. Why not? I don't think it wants to go there. Probably not quite that size. Though. Let's let's go a bit small. Or is it because it's on the stuff? Let's put it above the dog's bed. Turn that light on. And then we've got a couple of rectangular carpets. I'm gonna keep them very neutral in colour, I think. I actually want to go down a bit smaller. Just because I'm thinking we'll get one over here as well. There we go. So it's like it's going to be a fairly quick job, this one. Which is unusual. A lot of the jobs have, like, taken quite a bit longer. They've been a little bit more in-depth, we'll say. Okay, what's that? It's fridge. Talkie chip cabinet, kitchen cabinets. Okay, do we have a corner piece? Because that is where we will start from. And again, I'm just going to keep it in the colour options that they've asked for for this one. Kind of want my sinks. No, you are still the other one. Sink, sink, yes.
two sinks in there and let's get kitchen cabinet. Where's our fridge? How big is that? quite go to the end there so I am wondering if perhaps popping it over here because there's that tall cabinet as well with it's got a little bit in microwave so let's pop that next to it got this and I'm sure I saw a 75 centimeter oh yeah get in there so that's 200 centimeters that's 175 one. Mm, probably oh that's a ball one not me this is like, oh wow, that is a big range. So do we not have another base unit? Ah. Oh no, another tall kitchen cabinet, okay. Let's move you over a touch. And let's pop this in. That should fill that gap and then another one of these um so these go never here then that's not too bad not too bad at all but at least now that tells us where we're gonna put our tiles because they'll go on the kitchen side Ooh. the auto save in this game is what causes the lag it's very frustrating let's get some tiles on the go it's going to be a very quick job today actually quite surprised <laughs> it's it's nice that they actually get a house and move into a house and it it's not completely trashed when you walked in it's just a, a general decorating job it's um uh, very different too far back for that too far but let's just borrow a chair oh no i went straight over that chair two more for up there and then it's just above the window beautiful on the sink why not just making sure it's fitted properly and it's sturdy just get rid of them and then stick the light on in here it's a bit dull isn't it some of these but i think i'm going to put the coffee machine over here Um, probably along with the bread bin actually there's not a lot of room over that side for stuff we shall put the kettle back on the stove I do like that hob that is really nice and we'll pop the knives over here for when they're prepping food and whatnot although there's a knife missing 
not good. Get some lovely paint on the go. Okay, so it's not too much of a different colour. It's actually very, very similar to what they've already got. Just a little bit warmer. Lovely. And plug late watching. Making sure we don't miss any spots. So are you doing plugs? get that one in the corner there we go we just refill that touch and hopefully we can get the rest of this wall in one go should refill the paper on darn it so close Got some herbs to buy, which will pop on the windowsill. I'm getting fussy with how I'm positioning them, obviously. There we go. That is one very, very fast job. All tasks completed. Get yeah, that plugly. Make sure the lights are on in the other rooms because the other rooms we've done. Oh no, they were down this way. I shut the doors. I shut this door. This mouse being so sensitive is driving me nuts. I apologise to you all for having to watch. Like, it's so, like, ah. Uh. I will definitely fix that in a moment. Okay, we are done with this job. We're going to hit the end. So, got paid £18,000 for what is probably one of the fastest jobs to do. Which is, um, interesting. And, uh, nice to be before and after, so. Definitely. Apart from the garden. I could have actually done the garden and it would have been a normal time, but less than half an hour for that job is incredible. Okay, let's turn that down. Oh no. a little bit better. Are you outside, Pluggly? Is that why you're barking? You do realise you have a dog flat. Right. Seeing as we're back early, there's something that we need to do and we've been saying that we're going to do it and it was the reason behind us finishing off the yacht. We're going to peruse potential buildings. Now, there was one of the Pets DLC houses that I really enjoyed doing. Um which was this one poppy house it's called in this and um, mainly because you've got all the various different floors you've got plenty of land outside i thought it was a really really nice building to deal with that one that we've just done has just come up as well house in progress um we've got cozy haven there little brick house blue snuggery this one i don't recognize like obviously we've done it at some point, but maybe because of the oh I know which house it was. It was the house that the kids had destroyed upstairs. I've turned that like the sensitivity down on my mouse, and it is so slow now. <laughs> I can't win. And I don't know if it was just like a little glitch when we first got in the game. 
and that uh, and there we go let's loosen it up a bit i think oh but yeah there's um there's a few to pick from there but as i say in this one when i saw it straight away i was like i love it because of the basement space because of the attic space all of that nice big house and here it's only saying three floors but i don't know if it's not counting the basement or it's not counting the attic and i'm thinking this might be the one that we try hmm let's do it let's do it if we don't like it we can just flip it sell it and move into something else but yeah seeing as we finished a bit early then we may as well have a little look see what we're going to be dealing with see if this is going to make a lovely new home for Pluggy and myself I mean straight away the fact that we've got a garage that we can you know pop Pluggly, Pluggly's bath into is, is you know something in and of itself yeah, this mouse has gone really like unresponsive though turned it down but i turn it back up again i think it must have just been a a bit of a glitch or something when i first came into the game that just made it hypersensitive and that and then i turn it back up to the settings it was originally and now it's gone so slow right maybe it just doesn't like the settings of my mouse I mean, does anyone else have technical difficulties that make no sense like this? Let's um, pop it on that for now. Okay, so I just changed like my DBI settings to like 2000. Now it started on 1650 when it was hypersensitive and then moved it down to like 1400 and it was sluggish moved it back up to 1650 still sluggish now it doesn't seem quite as bad let's give this a little bit of a clean so this can just give us a bit of a starting point you know okay, look at that lovely a little bit of trash there still what do we reckon? My garage look okay plugs? Right, oh no, let's go through the front door. Seems to be um Okay, so this comes straight into the kitchen and dining room. Obviously needs a little bit of work there. Is the stairs down to the basement? Which I like this, because it was like a yeah, like a couple of little rooms down here, which I really, really liked. Just that additional space there. Okay, then it goes through into a living room. Yeah. Does that go to? It goes into the garage. Oh, we've got another door over here. Okay, and that is a bathroom. Out to the back garden. Nice. Like most of the ground floor is taken up with that garage. Okay, we've got a bedroom here with a bathroom. We took all the fixtures and fittings with them. Okay, a little utility room. Another bedroom with a bathroom. I love the fact that you've got all these kind of squares. It looks like that's where they remove the stuff from and it's just dirty. Okay, and then this is the attic space. The attic space is... I think this is really cool. Really, really like it. It's just a little bit different. So I say, let's give this a bit of a clean up plug. Give it a clean up and then... We shall think about what we're going to do next time for perhaps... You know, extending it a little bit. Uh, well, not extending it, but, you know, maybe reworking some of the layout. Now, I might use, move the utilities 
downstairs, like into the basement or something, have a little work room and that down there. And that which will free up some space upstairs. Because I remember like on that floor there were a number of bedrooms. There were more than we're seeing now. showing. Ah, there they are, they're up top. Maybe I should look up, Lugly. Yeah, so they, they've kind of, instead of putting that additional bedroom on there, done like a little utility room and whatnot, which is, it's cute. I like the fact that they give you like a slightly different layout for when you buy the houses. But at the same time, you kind of stood there going, I'm sure something was different. I can't figure out what. They weren't even plumbed in. Okay, so I kind of like the little ensuite bathrooms. I may even open this out fully into like a little lounge on this floor. bathroom layouts as well. Oh, let's get rid of them. I hate them lights. Give it a quick clean up. Even just get rid of all the marks on the walls would just make a huge difference. Okay, because they seem to have an awful lot of appliances in these bathrooms. There's messes up there and down there and around there. Let's just close that up because we have done up there. be this cobweb this time. I see one on the map. <laughs> it's like an invisible cobweb. I'll come back to it. Maybe it will show itself when we do the cleaning. Definitely need to replace all these doors. Get rid of those lights because I know for a fact I won't keep them. Right, so this floor is pretty much done, is it? Hey, because it's, it's a cobweb over here. I'm just gonna do everywhere. <laughs> Yeesh. Hey, plugs. Okay, we've already done in there. Still keep opening that door, you know, just in case. Let's get rid of the extra bits and pieces in here that we don't need. I love the fact that they, you know, removed the, literally, like, the, the sinks and everything upstairs. I'll probably make this into more of a rest, rest room than a shower room. The decor in here is not too bad. And the lighting. And that, but having that toilet so close to the door, mm, not so good. Let's get 
this a quick clean? I get rid of that rug as well, I think. And then down here, I am not sure about the layout at all. But I want I want a new front door. I want a new you know, something that actually looks like a front door would be nice. And that but I'm also not sure about just coming straight into the kitchen, so I will probably definitely end up probably definitely. There we go. <laughs> I will definitely end up changing the layout downstairs just to make it a little bit more kind of so friendly. I may even um, take some space off the garage because that is a big old garage. So I may take a little bit of space off it. I love it when you can't see. Like obviously there's spots showing up on the mini map. But the dirt is not visible to anyone in the world. might be a bit glitchy as well we shall see sometimes you don't get you don't like see the dirt straight away it doesn't show up straight away but then when you actually go through and decorate it kind of makes an appearance then but I mean I had the glitch I was on my other playthrough and I was just basically like just doing a house and that flipping a house on and uh, it's like the playthrough that I, I use if I'm streaming on Twitch. And then um, that one had a glitch in one of the corners of the room. So where it was saying it needed to be plastered, but it wouldn't like it wouldn't let you get plaster from the can, it wouldn't let you plaster it. It was there was there was something going on. I'd like plastered everywhere else in the house that needed to be plastered, but obviously because I couldn't plaster that bit, I also couldn't um redecorate either. So I ended up um, making a bit of a feature out of that corner and making use of the corner panels to cover up the spot, make it look like it was decorated. <laughs> Just put them kind of like floor to ceiling to cover the bit that we couldn't decorate. Because it, it literally wouldn't let us plaster it. And that which, you know, every game gets glitches. It was just one of those things, so I've just I've just got to the point now where I creatively come up with a way to deal with it and make it look nice. Wow, that's that's us having cleaned up all the floors of this house apart from where we've got kind of glitchy areas where it won't let us clean them. Let's do that. Let's get some weeds done. Then I do believe it's going to take us to the end of this episode. I kind of like this as well. This is a nice area, lovely and no, nice little countryside area. I like the fact that the train tracks are right here, so we'll still be able to see the trains go by. Which is really nice. No, it just adds a little bit of life to the neighbourhood.
got lots of weeds around this bit. Lots of weeds around there. What's been going on? Back around to the front of the house again. Let's just close up. Oh no, we're not keeping that light. Just spotted that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Sell it. Yeah, definitely we'll be doing some rearranging of this floor, I think. I mean, because it's great. I mean, I do like the fact that it's got a nice big double garage. So I don't know if I will get rid of it or not. I just might do something with this. Which may result in me removing... Oh, I know what I can do. I can actually take this out to open this space up. Possibly. I may do it, I may not yet. And then... No, I'm not going to have room to in here. I was thinking I could just basically pop one in... I might be able to actually. Just pop one in the corner of here so then I can basically have like a little workshoppy space at this end possibly remove one of those doors so it's still going to be it'd be like a, a garage come workshop instead of just a big double garage I don't know I don't know things to think about but yeah me and Plugly are going to head back home oh no 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 we don't want to we don't want to sell the house we want to go home hang on Oh, we need to we need to shut the front door anyway. Come on, Plugly. Definitely needs a better front door. Let's let's go back home. I love the fact that we've got a little mailbox. They not let you just go to the gate and leave. How rude. Ah, that gate. Let's go back to the office. Okay, so as I say, that will conclude today's episode. Bit of a short one, which is probably good because I got a bit carried away doing a really, really long one the other day. Also, I got a tiny bit of a headache today, so, you know, maybe a short one's a good thing. But yeah, look late. We're, we're still... We'll, we'll be here for a little bit longer, okay? You're okay. You've got, like, your second house in the garden. Yeah. And I know you like your second house. Yeah, you do. Here you go. Let's give you another treat. You did a good job. You're a good boy. Right, so, as I say, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you want to see what we did to the yacht, then make sure you check out the previous episode, which we released on Friday. Um, uh, um, we have fun with it. We have fun with it. We did incorporate the Pets DLC into it, and then we sold it at the end for quite a decent profit, so we're happy with that. But yeah, I shall see you again. You guys all take care. It's been awesome. I'll see you later.